Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. It's a purple post day today. Um, I have another piece of artwork from Vicky Davidson. Um, I have, oh, which one is it? There is so many, there is so many different um, paintings that I have now that I forget which other ones I have from Vicky Davidson. So let me just pull up all of her artwork on the website because, oh, I have Elise is the other one I have from Vicky Davidson. And she does quite a lot. Apart from Elise, who's actually a, a woman image, there are a few images of animals that she has. And then there's also a pink rose. But this is one of the animals. This is an animal. It's, it's, it's gained a lot of popularity recently. Um, I know the sloths have. So sloths seem to have um, gained a bit of artiste. Um, they're quite liked for um, a different sort of paintings and artwork. I don't know if you've noticed. Every now and then I find some animals appear more than others. You've still got your lions, your tigers, things like that. But every now and then another animal seems to take a lease of life. And you see them in quite a few different places. You can see them on tea towels as much as you can see them on diamond paintings. And I feel like uh, this one is one that has sort of peaked in its last few years as an animal, uh, even more so than previously. So I've got in the box. Can you guess which one it may be? You might be able to see it now anyway. So this one is the Highland Cow. I do feel like the Highland Cow has, has been appearing in more and more pieces of artwork, as say on tea towels, all sorts of things like that, um, and is coming to into his own. You see, with his little shaggy head, <laughs> little shaggy head and his horns. Uh, so to show you close up, well, closest up, can you see? You can hardly even see his eyes. They are there, but you can hardly see them. I'm trying to think if you can actually, you can't really see them on the original image. So they definitely are hidden. I was trying to see if I had a sticker sheet in this one, but I don't. So this might be one of the old ones, but this one I've got in a 50 by 70 in square, though it is available in both square and round, this one. So if you prefer round paintings, but look at these colours. So they are definitely more muted, as you can imagine, um, but still create a stunning piece of artwork in a different form. I love my bright paintings, but I also love the more natural colours as well. I just like them all. I like them all. I like it to vary. I like to change things up. Oh, makes me wonder where that's going though. Don't have much of it, but we have a bright pink. Where does that one go? 917. Oh, there's some of it over here. That was actually quite easy to find. There's also little bits over here. So there's scatterings of this bright pink over here, a little scatter in here. There's like two in his horn there, two up there. There's a few more down here, probably only about four. A couple over on this side. So yeah, we do have a little bright pink to pop up every now and then. This is your 310, um, but then we've got your gorgeous, more muted browns, but we've got blues, we've got purples. It's still so many different colours that make up the shading for this Highland Cow. So look, we've got how many browns and that's probably burgundy more than purple some creams, more blues, 
few more blues in there pale greeny grey uh, that's more of a grey grey we've got a brown try and get him to stow down uh, we have some peach so that's a little bit lighter uh, dark green in 934 pale grey blue uh, a bit more of a, a burgundy that one's a bit more of a darker burgundy I can't remember what the the colour is the name colour is for darker burgundy then we've got like a rusty red some more brown slash cream slash orangey tones we've got some more coral type tones and I say that was the the rusty colour so quite a few different I say more muted colours but you still get this little pop of hot pink every now and then as you go in through the image. I'm not sure what I'm going to name him. I don't know. I might have to think. He looks a he looks a serious Highland cow. I think he's he's looking quite quite serious. Do let me know your thoughts for a name uh, for my Highland cow in the bottom. I do like to give them names, my animals. I think it started with Mr Quackers. I gave Mr Quackers a name. I feel like Mr Highland Cow needs a name. Um, there's just not one that's jumping out at me. Um, but I do think it needs to be quite a serious name. So let me know if you have a serious name uh, that I could call my Highland Cow. Let me know what you think and it will be his name going forward as soon as he is chosen by my decision wheel to be my painting of the day. Uh, this has 29 different colours, I forgot to tell you that. It's because I didn't pull a sticker sheet out, I forgot to tell you. Uh, but yeah, it has 29 colours, they all have DMC numbers of course. This is a 50 by 70, this is the square version. You can get a 50 by 70 in round. Um, and I will pop a link to Vicky Davidson's artwork down below, of which the Highland Cow is part of it. Um, and you can see the schematic for both the square and the round. So you can decide which one suits you. Also, if you do want a toolkit with your kit, you do have the option to get a toolkit with it. I choose not to get a toolkit because I use my own trays and pens. Um, but if you're starting out, if our Mr Highland Cow um, or any of the other artwork on the site is one that you want to start off with, you can get yourself a toolkit with it to give it a go. But yeah, it's a little bit more serious, but I still think he's cute. Maybe you should have a cute name instead of a serious name. I don't know, but uh, you decide down below. Uh, it is confetti-ish. I wouldn't say this is an extreme confetti. Um, not like you're changing colours all the time and loads, uh, but you are definitely scattering those colours about. So you might get about three or four colours out, for example, for this section, um, but you will be placing them in lots of different places as you're doing it and I'd say that's pretty much the theme throughout most of the painting <coughs> excuse me I would probably work on this one sideways uh, but that's because I always go for the shortest section um, the shortest edge and I always start from there and work up but I can read the symbol sideways so um, if you can't read the symbol sideways or you actually have a table big enough, then you could always work on it with the symbols the right way up. It is a poured glue canvas. So as you can already see, I'm not having to hold the canvas up as much as I was at the beginning uh, because they do settle themselves down very quickly, which is why I'm more than happy to store them in their boxes. Uh, because I tend to have no problems when I start working on them um, for them to flatten themselves out. Symbols are all really clear. I've never had a problem with a light pad on any of the symbols from Diamond Art Studio. 
any of the canvases I've already done I've never had a problem so I don't foresee <coughs> excuse me I've got a tickle um I don't foresee any problems with any of these there's none of them that are, are jumping out at me a bit too close um but I'll be sure to let you know if not that I expect but if there is ever anything when I'm working on something I will always let you know but as I say, I will pop a link down below to Vicky Davidson's artwork. I already have a lease. I can now add our to be named Highland Cow to my collection. I'll also pop a discount code. <coughs> Excuse me. I will also pop a discount code down below that will get you a little, a few little pennies um, off a Diamond Art Studio canvas if you fancy choosing one for yourself. Have a browse. There's so many amazing artists on there. Um, some of them are currently out of stock. There are restocks on their way. Um, so if there is one that you like that's currently out of stock, just keep an eye um, and as soon as they're restocked they will be back on the website but anyway thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon